My message today is to encourage you to give away Bible tracts. See, they're like mustard seeds, uh, which can grow into the largest tree. Remember that Jesus is the true vine and we are his branches. I would like to encourage you, uh, you know, to, to do this, be, uh, to order tracts where for, you know, Bible-based gospel tracts, hand them out to strangers. Um, I had a very special, this is the actual past, uh, Pastor Andrew Rappaport of Striving for Eternity. He actually gave uh, a conference and he handed these out. And it kind of looks like the back of my truck. I'm going to read it to you. Relationships. We all have them. Maybe with a husband or wife, maybe with a brother or sister, or between a parent and child. What do all these relationships have in common? They are all temporary. Only one relationship lasts forever and cannot be ended by physical death. That relationship that you have with God, the God of the universe, the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Do you know him on a personal level? Does he know you on a personal level? Has your relationship with him been reconciled? Many people think that by doing good things, God will give entrance into heaven because they've lived a good life. The Bible, God's inspired, scientifically accurate written revelation of himself says otherwise. There is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10. See, God's standard for what is right is higher than ours. He requires that people keep his laws, such as love God, love your neighbor, do not lie, do not lust, do not covet. See, failure to just obey one of those laws makes a person guilty of breaking the entire, the whole law. As a result, everyone deserves death, the wages. Your iniquities have separated you from God, says in Isaiah 59.2. Since people aren't good enough to save themselves, God demonstrates just stated his love by sending his sinless son, Jesus Christ, to die an excruciating death on the cross, taking away the death penalty that we, the people, deserve. Jesus then rose again from the dead three days later, offering forgiveness of sins. See, this results in a reconciled personal relationship with him on earth and an everlasting life in heaven. For it is said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's John 3, 16. I encourage you to repent. It means to turn away from, turn away from your sin. Trust in Jesus Christ alone for your righteousness. And God will give you that relationship today. This was the first real Bible track I ever got. I just read it to you. That's what it says in this. That came from Pastor Andrew Rappaport of Striving for Eternity Ministries. He came and spent an entire day with me, four hours. I asked him every question I could ever possibly imagine that I thought I knew or wanted to know. And then biblically was able to show me in the ancient script, the ancient scriptures, the actual prophecies with the most outrageous numerical um, equation to be able to say, Jesus, Jesus fulfilled like 10, it was like, I think it's 10 to the 19th power of, of, of a probability that he fulfilled every single prophecy of the Old Testament about him. See, the Old Testament is the law of Moses. And we realize we can't keep the whole law ourselves, that, that we are never going to be, um, we're never going to be truly holy without Jesus. And we have to understand we're never going to be able to keep the whole law. If we've broken one, we've broken them all. And if the wage of sin with is sin is death, and we can spend, you know, we can spend eternity in a lake of fire without Jesus, be encouraged to drop little tracks like that off to people. Biblically sound, effective tracks that share the gospel help us realize that we would be dead in our sins and spend an eternity in a lake of fire without a savior. Who is that Savior? Seek Him with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. And know that I love you, Jesus loves you, and if you seek Him, you'll find Him. And we all need a Savior. You all, under, at a minimum, the, my, my, my Jewish friends, is recognize that without a Savior, without forgiveness of sin, 
how do we, how, how could we earn our way to heaven? See, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We all have. I encourage you to trust in Jesus Christ alone for salvation. And, and also, the, thank you, Brother Andrew, for your faithfulness in Christ to come and visit a lost sheep just like me, uh, lost in shamanism and all nonsense, uh, just to try to heal my brain. Uh, but he, he taught, you know, he, in loving kindness, he shared the good news, the bad news, and the good news of the gospel. Uh, the, the, the good news of the gospel is, is that, you know, it's, if we all need forgiveness of sin, how do you find forgiveness of sin? It was, it was in the perfect Lamb of God, the, the one who took away the sin of the world. His name is Jesus Christ. So I encourage you, uh, seek out, like, you know, we're all truth seekers. Um, none of us are necessarily smarter than any other, uh, any other, but if you seek the truth, you'll find it. And that's my encouragement. Uh, Jesus is, uh, is the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Uh, he was in the beginning. He is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the author and finisher of our faith. He is the one from everlasting to everlasting. And his name is Jesus. Seek him, find him. And know that that's the reason why we celebrate Christmas. God bless you guys. And please like, check out strivingforeternity.org. He offers like a, a free, like I'd say like at least a $5,000 seminary education free of charge. It's literally one of the most important and first Bible studies that you'll learn in seminary college or if you're seeking uh, pastorship or something of that nature in the future or chaplaincy. Uh, so, so for more uh, questions about Jesus and awesome, like everyone has questions. Don't be afraid to ask them. Don't be so pride filled that you're afraid to ask tough questions um, and, and be encouraged. Pastor Andrew is one of those ones you can ask any, anything like that too and be able to get a, a reasonable biblical answer uh, and, and that you'll be able to back up with the scriptures very, very wonderfully. Uh, and I encourage you to do that. Challenge him even. He has uh, open uh, like Q&As like every Thursday night, I believe, strivingforeternity.org. Uh, so Merry Christmas, guys. That's why we celebrate Christmas. It's to celebrate the birth of the uh, Lamb of God that took away the sins of the world. His name is Jesus Christ. I encourage you guys to share uh, the true story of Christmas with your loved ones. Don't be, this is the time of year where it's okay. It, it's be bold, be, be bold in your faith to share as he uh, commanded us in the Great Commission to tell all creatures about him. Be encouraged, guys. If you love people, um, at a minimum, give, give, give uh, buy a package of Bible tracts today overnight them and get them by Saturday or two night them from Amazon or from strivingforeternity.org and get yourself some, give, give one, one of these to every single person. God bless you guys. Merry Christmas.